Hey, I'm Chef Todd Moore. I've helped thousands of people to find success and enjoyment of cooking with my website, webcookingclasses.com, where we examine the methods behind cooking so you can create your own recipes every night of the week. And I love man pans. Well, one of the healthiest cooking methods is steaming. And one of the coolest things about my man pans is this steamer insert. It fits inside all their 12 inch pans. So the steamer insert not only allows me to cook without added fat, but it enables me to use fewer pans, saving time on clean up, wash up afterwards. So come on, look over my shoulder as I whip up an Indian inspired chicken and spinach dish using the steamer insert in my man pans for healthy cooking. My man pan's uh, steamer insert is gonna go on top of some simmering chicken broth. Always best to use flavorful broth when cooking. I mean, let's face it, water has no flavor, chicken broth much better. Here's a chicken breast cut up into strips that I put in the man pan steamer. Again, you notice no additional oil, no oil added. I'm gonna give it as much surface area as I can, kind of spread it out here in the pan so that these are steamed under a moist convective cooking method. The healthiest way to cook is with steam. Put a lid on it and let the chicken start steaming away. After a few minutes in my other man pans, I'm gonna use a little bit of olive oil. And this is extra virgin olive oil. Any kind of fat really will do, but the key here is a very small amount. See that? That's just a dot of olive oil. It's just used to conduct the heat. I can't use a saute method, which is what I'm about to do, direct source, conductive heat, without something to conduct that heat a little bit. Shake the pan, spread it all over the bottom of the no-stick pan, and you see how it kind of pools. I've got an onion here sliced. And just with that small bit of oil, these man pans and the non-stick surface allows you to cook with less fat. Add some whole garlic cloves to that. I really don't need to cut these things up because you're going to see in a few minutes I'm going to uh, chop them all up with the Cuisinart. But a simple saute of the onion and garlic will start to get the bottom of my flavor profile for me, rendering some of those flavors into the bottom of the pan. And again, you can see how they saute uh, with a direct source heat. On the other side here, my chicken, let's play with this a little bit, move it around, and this is moist convective heat, both excellent ways to cook for healthy cooking using as less added fat as possible. After a few minutes, my onions have uh, settled down a little bit. You can see they're a little more translucent. The garlic is a little bit brown. And now it's time to take some spinach. Now a full bag of spinach. I know this seems like a lot to put into one uh, man pans, but you'll see how spinach breaks down. It's so much water. Uh, it's you know, like lettuce, like any other plant that's so filled with water that you'll see how quickly it breaks down. But again, this direct heat with my man pans, I can cook in a moist convective method by steaming with the steamer insert and the no, no stick surface allows me to cook in a direct source fashion as well, a convective heat. And this is like a saute method. So simply applying the heat to the onions, the garlic, and the spinach until the spinach really breaks down to a point that it's manageable and uh, I can add, uh, uh, then I can puree it in the Cuisinart. Looks like my chicken is about done. I see it's gone from pink to totally white. This is a coagulation of protein, so I'll just use my tongs and take all this chicken out of my steamer insert. Now don't throw away that flavorful stock underneath because we're going to use that um, when we have to thin out our dish a little bit or to add additional flavor. And that's one of the other benefits because underneath the steamer insert now is all my flavorful stock that I'm going to use. poke the spinach around a little bit and you can see I'm starting to lose a lot of volume on the spinach. It was up over the top of the pan a minute ago, but uh, some more direct source heat with just a little bit of fat will help that break down even further. And you can see as I continue to saute how the spinach breaks down, it gets moist, the water evaporates from the leaves. And again, I put whole garlic cloves in there and big old pieces of spinach because just a minute when we're going to uh, saute the rest of this down, we're going to take it over to the Cuisinart and make, uh, start making like a cream spinach type thing out of it.
When it's fully broken down, off the heat it comes, and over to my Cuisinart. We'll simply wipe this all out of the man pans. And again, my handle is nice and cool. I love the, the handle on the man pans pan. I never burn my hands. I never need a rag or a glove or anything like that. But into the Cuisinart, lid on, and just uh, give it a minute to pulse it. This is why I didn't have to bother with a lot of knife skills at the beginning, because things in the Cuisinart are all going to be pureed anyway. And what I've got here is uh, starting to look like cream spinach a little bit. Here's our flavorful stock from the man pans, and we'll use this to just loosen up this puree a little bit and add even more flavor. when it's to the consistency that I like, and that looks pretty good. Let's take it back over to the stove and return it to the pan. Get that blade out of there, that's in my way. <laughs> All right, so our spinach, onion, garlic puree goes back into the man pans because we're gonna add some other flavors to it and eventually add the chicken as well. Get it all out of there. Let's not waste any of it. That's what one of these plastic scrapers are so good for, the silicon scraper. Not wasting food. Okay. Got it all out. All right, and there's our pureed spinach and garlic. To that, let's start the, it, adding things that are going to add a little bit more flavor, but no more fat. And this is some plain yogurt. Just a scoop or two of plain yogurt. Now, you could use a white sauce, and if you wanted to add a lot of fat, you could make it a cheese sauce or sour cream or any flavor that you would like. But the plain yogurt will give me a good, smooth, creamy flavor without adding a lot of additional fat. Just mix that in a little bit. And now I know I'm going to add chicken to it, but let me start thinking about some other proteins and some low carbohydrates. And one of the things I really love that goes along with the flavor profile, these are garbanzo beans or chickpeas. And they'll add a lot of protein to this dish without adding a lot of fat or carbohydrate. So just by mixing in a strained can of uh, chickpeas, this becomes more like an Indian sag, S-A-A-G. And I think I'm going to go along that flavor profile with some curry powder. And a little turmeric, curry powder and turmeric certainly are going to remind me of Indian food. And some cumin and coriander. All seasonings that will match this Indian Middle Eastern uh, profile and I think I'll add some dill as well a little pinch of dill with spinach dill on carrots dill on seafood dill really brings out the freshness of uh, fresh ingredients and that's what we're cooking with today this is a mint chutney an Indian jarred mint chutney and again I'm dealing with flavor profiles so if this is turning into an Indian inspired dish I think the mint chutney will go really well being able to cook with the ingredients that are already in your cabinet the things that are already in your pantry will save you time and money for sure and this is a dish that we're just creating we're making it up but I'm following an Indian profile let's use a little more of that chicken stock to thin out my dish and add a little bit more chicken flavor. Now this could be any profile you'd like. If you wanted to add tomatoes to it and basil and oregano, uh, maybe some cubes of mozzarella cheese, cannellini beans, it would be an Indian dish. Ooh, that's good. It would be an Indian dish. Um, if you wanted to uh, add any flavor profile you want, you don't have to go Indian. The point is that the steaming method, adding the chicken to the dish, combining all the ingredients, steaming the chicken first in a, a low fat fashion, and then using a saute method to make this wonderful chickpea, garbanzo bean, spinach, and yogurt, the plain yogurt dish. Low fat cooking. When I add the chicken to it, take it off the stove, plate it in a bowl. Let's take our previously steamed chicken Add that on top. And here's our Indian inspired chicken, garbanzo bean, spinach, steamed dish with my man pans. Easy to cook healthy with man pans.